DIY dentistry is a relatively new phenomenon where patients are mailing away for orthodontic aligner trays basically to move their teeth and perform orthodontics on their own at home. DIY dental companies that are going to send you orthodontic aligners by mail are essentially telling customers that they can move teeth you know, faster, cheaper, and easier. And the reality is that moving teeth is hard. It's why it's been a dental specialty for years and years. If you're going to be moving your teeth, you should be evaluated by a dentist in person prior to doing that, at a minimum. X-rays are a big part of this. Um, you know, teeth can look great in person, but the tooth that you see in someone's smile is only about a third of the tooth. The most important part is the other two-thirds of the tooth, which is under the gum and under the bone. And the only way you can evaluate that is by a dentist taking and reading current x-rays. You need to be in, in decent oral health to undergo this treatment without having any problems. Anybody who's considering moving their teeth orthodontically needs to understand if there are risks for them. If they have pre-existing dental conditions, whether it's inflammation of the gums or the bone around the teeth, if there's bone loss around the teeth, if they have existing dental treatments like implants that aren't going to move, that accompany that you know, sends you aligners by mail, not be aware of that a tooth can't move um, and could potentially do damage to if you are using these aligners. If they have jaw issues uh, where moving the teeth could exacerbate or introduce them, those are all really important things that a patient should be aware of before moving their teeth. I had a patient recently who I saw towards the end of her DIY treatment and her chief complaint when she came in for her cleaning was that her four lower front teeth were very loose to the extent that I had to send her to a gum specialist, otherwise known as periodontist, and she had to have those teeth splinted together. They had to be tied together by wire to her canine teeth. Uh, she will need to maintain this care for the rest of her life, and there is a chance that those teeth may be lost. Personally, I had a patient who had finished her treatment um, and the reason she came in was because she had noticed that she had had some chipping on her front teeth. That tooth had been put in a position where it was no longer touching the teeth and functioning in the correct way. So the tooth was ultimately damaged. We had to um, basically put a filling onto that tooth and rebuild it and we can't get that tooth back. We can only put something there that's not as good as a natural tooth. That's why consulting a dentist and having the treatment done by a dentist or an orthodontist, certainly if you have more complex issues, is important.